Welcome to the Embassy of Mike Graham. I'm Mike Graham and this is my heaven and hell for this week. Stockholm Syndrome. Have you ever heard of the Bibby Stockholm? You wouldn't have done until relatively recently, but now it's all everybody talks about. The Bibby Stockholm this, the Bibby Stockholm that. Is it a floating barge? Is it a floating prison? Is it a floating hellhole? Uh, is it decent? Is it good? Has it got a gym? Has it got many people on it? Uh, yes, of course, the Bibby Stockholm is the place where all of these migrants were supposed to be going. 500 odd were supposed to be uh, loading themselves onto this uh, stationary barge, which has been used in the past for housing oil workers, housing other people who were doing jobs over overseas. It's now become the focus of every single news report every single night. Turns out there's only about 15 migrants who've agreed to go on. Some have refused to go on on the grounds that they're frightened of the water, which some people have found a bit ironic. What we do know uh, is, of course, that the government have once again completely and utterly failed to make any sense of the migrant problem. Because even if they were getting it full, even if there were 500 people going on it, that would only be about two days worth of migrants who've been arriving on the south coast continually. So I'm afraid uh, for Suella Braverman and Rishi Sunak, it's still hell. Wilco KO. Have you ever shopped at Wilco? They sell some amazing stuff. You go in there and it's like an Aladdin's cave. And they pretty much have everything you could ever possibly want. But unfortunately for them, uh, it looks like they're going out of business. And it looks also uh, like that could be the first sign that the economy is really in quite a lot of trouble. Because remember Woolworths? They went down that road back in 2008. Uh, it was Woolworths that was the first message that things were not going well uh, for the country. And when that went down, then the banks started to go down after it. And I wonder whether Wilco will be the same because it looks like they're going into administration any day now, and unfortunately there's 12,000 people who are going to lose their jobs. It's bad news for the economy, it's bad news for Britain. I think it's hellish. Mushroom for improvement. There's a strange story emanating from Australia. It's down Melbourne Way, and a woman called Erin Patterson um, is being investigated because she made a beef wellington. Now everybody knows when you make a beef wellington, you've got to put some mushrooms in it. She did that, but unfortunately the people that ate the beef wellington didn't like it very much, and not only did they not like it, they actually died. And the police are now investigating whether or not she deliberately fed them poison mushrooms. The tale takes a further twist when it turns out that the people who did die are the parents of her ex-husband and his aunt. So three people who perhaps she had a reason not to like very much. She complained, of course, that it was nothing to do with her. She said, I bought the mushrooms from a shop. But unfortunately, they found a mushroom dryer for what it's worth, some kind of device that she used to obviously pick mushrooms, put these things in there uh, and put them then in the food. So she's under a lot of suspicion. And who can tell? Just be careful when you're eating some beef wellington or you might end up in hell. A Zempic Games. There's something called a Zempic. It's a drug that you take if you've got type 2 diabetes because it helps to control uh, the blood sugar levels in your body. I'm not going to try and sound like a doctor here, like I don't know what I'm talking about. But a Zempic is now also, it's been discovered, pretty good at helping you to lose weight. So here's the thing. A lot of people have decided to take it even though they don't have type 2 diabetes, which means the people who do need it for type 2 diabetes can't get it. But you can get it through a private company and you can lose weight through it, even though it's not actually recommended uh, by the NHS or it's not recommended by anybody. Uh, but people are doing it anyway. So if you can inject something that makes you lose weight, you can still eat what you like and drink what you like. That's probably heaven, isn't it? Zoom on in. Do you remember when nobody had ever heard of Zoom? That was before the pandemic, of course. Before the lockdown, nobody knew what Zoom was. Suddenly, everybody was using Zoom. Everybody had a Zoom account because it was great. You didn't have to go anywhere. You could sit there on Zoom and Zoom in on all sorts of meetings at the office. You could talk to people all around the world. You didn't need to be anywhere except for in your living room in your underwear. And you could just put a shirt on and pretend that you were working. That's what lots of people did. Well, even Zoom have now worked out that it wasn't a very good idea. So they've said to their employees, they now want them back in the office. These are the people that actually created working from home. They made it simple. They made it easy. But now they're saying at least two days a week, maybe three, we want you in an office environment because you know what? Working from home just doesn't work. For me, someone who advocates going to an office, 
that's absolute heaven. So that was this week's Heaven and Hell. I'm Mike Graham. Go and join the Embassy of Mike Graham. Like it, share it and subscribe. We'll see you next time.